the bam 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 drum roll please what it was bing 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 bam ba hair reveal friends welcome back to the brave new wear show my name's christian <laughs> looks like i got my ears lowered that would be weird actually what happened is i finally shaved my head there was something i was thinking about doing for a while but I had some hesitations, and finally I pulled the trigger as it were, and I'm happier for it. So for today in this advanced aesthetics series episode, I kind of wanted to talk about making bold hair choices, and how to kind of be able to put yourself in that position so that you can make some yourself. Before going any further, I want to talk about kind of my thought process behind this do. And if you're unfamiliar with the channel, like basically my hair has been long for the last two years. Um, I think like last summer it was like down to my collar and um, in my last video it was quite long. But it's just a hassle. Doing Wearing my hair like that is such a hassle and I wanted something new. So you might be asking yourself, why did I think of cutting my hair like this? Couple of things. For number one, and I've talked about this in the Advanced Aesthetic series in the past, something that I'm invested in doing is streamlining my whole wardrobe. And when you have longer hair, there is like the element of variability. Some days you'll have a good hair day, other days it'll be a trash hair day. And having your head like this eliminates that. I wake up, it's basically the same every day. Number two, frankly, it's a coronavirus haircut. Caroline helped me cut my hair. I already had the clippers. It was easy breezy and it will be relatively breezy to maintain. Uh, maybe I'll continue to use the clippers. Maybe I'll get like one of those head shavy things. Um, but you know, I did have some reservations. One of them is maybe silly, but I was concerned that there are already so many like fashion influencer types with shaved heads. I didn't want to come off as like a poser, you know? But the more you think about it, the more I think that's a dumb reason not to do something. You should go and follow an aesthetic that vibrates with your frequency. Do what inspires you and don't worry about other people who might be doing the same thing. If you do worry about that, you basically are being a poser, a follower. And I'm thrilled I should have done this sooner. I, I do like the way my head looks. I'm into it, baby. But there's some things you need to worry about. Like, obviously, when you shave your head like this, you can't go backwards. It's like you can cut your hair shorter and you can't make it longer once it's cut off. And I was kind of worried that like, uh, if I shave my head and then it becomes a big trend, there's no way for me to get out of that, you know? Uh, if everybody has a shaved head, then everybody's got one. But, my hair grows quick. I, I mean, like, it'll grow out in no time. So I'm really, I'm never worried about cutting my hair like that. But in terms of helping you guys, what should you think when you're considering a new hair deal? Number one, consider what the haircut will look like with your outfits. Will it look good with your best outfit and even your most worstest? Like, your biggest flex appeal outfit and then like your bodega fit. Also, do you wear hats, accessories? Consider, will you look dumber or better in your new haircut with a hat? It's something to think about. Try to imagine how the haircut will look in those outfits. And if you find that you really wanna cut your hair a certain way, but it looks bad with your new mullet or whatever, then maybe this is an opportunity to reflect on the garments that you own and whether or not they are an image of the exact kind of aesthetic that you want to put forward. Secondly, what is the upkeep? Every haircut has some level of upkeep, and if you've never tried styling your hair in a certain way, you might find that there it's more, it's more work than you bargained for. Frankly, if you want to maintain a haircut, that means kind of like getting it cut on a regular basis, it, depending on the haircut, it means styling it, styling it and putting product in every morning. And if it's bleached and dyed, that means maintaining that color, buying the right shampoos and conditioners that will help keep the color in, 
not running your hair under hot water or you're going to lose all the color, it, it, it's something to consider. Remember that if you got to do it every morning or it's something you have to consider every time you get washed, it's going to be something of a hassle. You have to consider whether or not it's worth it for you. And ultimately, guys, honestly, just do it, Nike style. I wanted to cut my hair, I wanted to shave it again for a while, and I just kept going like, eh, I don't know, I'm afraid. And there's no point. It, your hair grows back. It's gonna grow. It, it, you'll find that, like, months will pass by like this, and your hair will already be in a different style if you really don't love it and you want to change it. So I really, I just encourage you guys, now is the time to experiment with something weird. We are social distancing, we're not mixing, mingling as much as possible. If you wanted to try a bizarre new hairstyle, now is the time. And like any Advanced Aesthetics episode, we gotta look for our inspo. So why don't you join me over at the computer? Death Stranding. This honestly doesn't taste good. Let's take a look at one of my favorite places, Pinterest. And it's typically a place that I have looked for hair inspo. Like anything, and I've talked about this in the past, Pinterest can be good, but there's going to be a lot of trash that you need to sift through in order to find anything worth its hair salt. Let's just go to my hair board. And like, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Hope you guys are having fun watching me on the internet. Like, a lot of these pictures are like normie stuff. You know, it's not like groundbreaking, but often I think you need to pull from a lot of different places in order to find haircuts that you like or to find like hashtag the look. As you can kind of tell here, I've worn my hair high and tight for a while. And there's also some inspiration as I had been growing it out. But I think it's really important to recognize that you're not always going to have the same hair texture as people who you want to emulate. Like this dude and I do have a simi similar hair texture. So this would work for me. But if I was looking at like the actor who plays Thor, for example, he has like straight hair. Me growing out my hair would be a lot more challenging to accomplish that. And here's the truth. I have been inspired by this ad, this Comme des Garcons ad, for years. The way that this model looks, his like sharp jaw, the facial features, and like the cleanness of his head, I just always thought like, that's rad, I wanna look like that. Then there's also like the crazy wild stuff. Like this is the length of my hair kind of right now. It would be super easy for me to bleach and then dye it this color or any color. And then if I don't like it, shave it off. But let's say, uh, let's say uh, you're interested in that mullet look. How do we even go about finding it? Um, I mean, we could just try simply mullet hairstyle men's and see if it brings up anything good. This is relatively good. This guy looks like he lives in Brooklyn. Um, and this is kind of one place we can start. Let's save it, boom. And we can start scrolling down. He also looks like he lives in Brooklyn. Um, and then go through some of these things. And you'll see that, like, obviously, some of, this, some of the styles are different. This guy's got that deal. We want to get a couple of inspos, especially if we aren't seeing, like, our hairstyle or hair texture yet. But it, it's good to have a lot of inspiration. When we do eventually go to the barber, we're going to want to have, like, essentially one picture or maybe two as many of like different angles of the same hairstyle if you bring them multiple things it's just gonna it's gonna overload them they're gonna be confused but we can find multiple of this one so this would help if we were going to the barber save a lot of different pictures for inspiration but when you decide on a style that you actually want cut i think typically you want to bring like all of the same to your barber. You don't wanna bring him like different variants of the same haircut. One place that I've always seen really good hair inspo is in Japanese fashion magazines. Now, uh, if you don't live in a metropolitan area, 
it could be a little bit more challenging to get your hands on like foreign publications like this. But obviously, I mean, you guys are hype beasts. You know about uh, Yahoo Japan auctions. So you can find auctions like this. Apparently one yen, I don't even understand that. Gonna have to look into this one. But if you are willing to take the time and be meticulous about this, I would recommend trying to pick up some like Japanese magazines and flipping through those. Essence I think has some of the best like online models for clothes. And there's a lot, I mean, just typically they have like cool stuff. So I wouldn't, I'm not gonna blame you for scrolling through here and seeing if you can find a model with a hairstyle that you want. Here, another again, case in point, I can't do this hair. Like this right here, it just, I would have to uh, like straighten my hair to accomplish this. So it wouldn't work for me. And what's kind of good, let's see if this proves my point. You probably, yes you do, you get multiple angles of the model. So if I wanted this kind of mullet look, the essence gives you the opportunity to see multiple angles of the same model and same haircut. That's my video guys. So let me know down below in the comments what you think. And for the homework assignment for today's lesson, what I propose to you guys is to find hair inspiration in a hopeless place. Look for some inspo for a hair inspo in a place other than like Pinterest or your favorite fashion blogger. What I'm gonna do is order, or at least I'm going to attempt to, order some of the uh, Popeye magazines on Yahoo Japan. So I want you guys to send in some of your best unorthodox hair inspo, and I'd love to share it in the next episode. Is that a good assignment? I guess we'll see depending on what the homework looks like. So I don't wanna give you all an F again, because I have been. Uh, so try to do better this time. And I'll catch you on the flip side later.